Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So I'm going to be using my Journey of Love 1 and my Journey of Love 2 decks. These two decks could be found on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. I'm going to be pulling four cards from each. So let's see what's going on in your current situation right now. You have risk, apology, separation, and ghosted. And at the bottom of the deck, you have text. And on here, it says, I miss you. All right, let's move to the second deck. Wow, you have another card that says text or phone call. And on here, it says, hey, can we talk? You also have twin flame. You have new relationship. You also have sneaky. At the bottom of the deck, you have temptation. And right behind that, you have work romance. So let me break this down. Your person was very sneaky. They were texting other people behind your back. They took a risk on someone new. That's why they were ghosting you. This person had a lot of temptations around them, especially at work. Your person was confiding in a coworker. I feel like they were telling this coworker that you guys were having problems. And this coworker saw an opportunity to where they can lure your person away, which is why you have temptation. Some of you could have also found text messages in your person's phone or pictures, but this hurt you to your core. They broke your heart and that's what led to the separation. Also with new relationship and separation, your person is no longer with this third party. As quickly as it started, it ended. On this temptation card, there's an apple with a worm in it. Your person got more than what they bargained for because on this risk card, there are two dice. They definitely gambled with your heart. They took a bite of this rotten apple and they got screwed in the worst way. We're going to find out what happened, but it's not looking good for this person. This third party was using them. He was doing stuff with this third party that he's never done with you. I'm seeing shopping. I'm seeing going out to eat and just spending money frivolously because they were trying to impress this third party. And it looks like their ass ended up broke. This third party could have also broken up with your person because they ran out of money. This third party was also sneaky. This third party had ulterior motives. Your person also found out that this third party had someone else on the side, which is why you have new relationship. Your person is feeling like crap because now they're realizing that they gave the offer to the wrong person. They're realizing that this is a twin flame connection. They're realizing that they messed up. They're realizing how much you mean to them. They're realizing how much you did for them. They're seeing how loyal you were. They're seeing that you're the one that had the integrity, but they chose lust over love. And that shit came back and bit him in the ass. Now they want to come in and apologize. They want to send you a text message. They want to talk. But you have your boundaries up. You're very guarded. And you don't trust them. You're healing collective. And for some of you, this new relationship could be you. You're taking a risk on someone else. And you're leaving this behind. Some of you could have met someone at work. And that's why these two text messages cards are here because you're texting someone new. For those of you who are not in a relationship, you have someone new coming in. And for others of you, you have the hermit card here. You're by yourself, you're chilling, you're focusing on you, and you're just putting love on the back burner until you're healed. For some of you, you're going on one or two years being celibate. For some of you, it could be more, but you're definitely practicing self-care. And you're not rushing to get into another relationship. You're just going with the flow. So let's take a look to see what's going on with your person. I'm not seeing them with this third party. You have the Empress. This person can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, they feel rejected by you. You have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. You have iced this person out. You are giving them the cold shoulder. You're not trying to hear it. And it's because they were sneaky. You have the seven of swords. They were keeping secrets with the high priestess. And Spirit said that's the truth, ace of swords. They definitely regret their actions and they're feeling foolish with the four of cups. 
This person didn't know what they had until you were gone, Eight of Cups. Now they're wanting to rush in with the Knight of Swords. They're wanting to reach out. They're wanting to call you. They're wanting to text you to give you a new offer with the Two of Cups. With the Empress and the Two of Cups, this person is in heavy regret. They can't believe they messed this up. They are in turmoil. This person is so attracted to you. They miss the chemistry they had with you. They're thinking about the good times that they had with you with the Four of Cups. They're reminiscing on the past. I'm hearing this is the worst mistake of my life. You have the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Emperor. Wow, now you have the Emperor and the Empress. Yeah, they're feeling like shit because they put you in a third party situation. This person is also drinking heavily, trying to cope. And with the Five of Pentacles coming out earlier, along with the dice, for some of you, your person could have been addicted to gambling, but there's something going on with their money. Or like I said, that karmic took their ass to the bank. Yeah, this person didn't see this coming at all with the High Priestess and the Five of Cups. This karmic took them for a ride. All they did was argue and fight with the Five of Wands. Arguing and fighting over you. And arguing and fighting over money. Now they're wanting to return to take this leap of faith with you. Because they've had a revelation about what this connection is with a star. This person is going through a spiritual awakening. But they're also scared to reach out because they feel like you're in a new relationship. You guys are going to be getting communication from this person. They can't hold back any longer. You have the Eight of Wands and Judgment. They're manifesting you like crazy. You have the Magician. Yeah, they want reconciliation with Temperance. Yeah, they're ready to put in the work. You have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. This person is also burying themselves in work, trying not to think about you. Whatever your person's vice was, Whatever they were going through with this temptation card, it looks like they have released that with the death card and they're healing from it with the star. I don't know what you guys did to this person, but they got it bad, y'all. They got it bad for you. Y'all need to go watch that video I did. I feel like the title said they got it bad for you. I'm going to pin it at the end of this video, but this person really has it bad for you. And it's because you're sweet, you're loyal, you're consistent, you're dependable and you're trustworthy. They can't seem to let you go with the Four of Pentacles. They're in love with you with the Ace of Cups and they're on their way back with the Six of Wands. Let's pull some Romance Angels. This person is all in their feelings about you. Why is this person thinking about the collective so heavily? You have soulmate. What did I tell you guys? This person is awakening to this connection and they know that you're their soulmate. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I told you this person is still highly attracted to you. They miss the passion. They miss the sex. They miss everything about you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So they're trying to keep an open mind about this reconciliation. I also feel like you guys were opposites of each other. That's why you clashed. They were very controlling and always wanted things their way. And you didn't kiss this person's ass. That's what they were used to. You stood your ground and they didn't like that. You have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this is the second time this card is coming out. You guys are in separation. Some of you could be feeling their energy really strong and it's because they can't stop thinking about you. This separation is also letting me know that they are separated from that third party. You also have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So these cards are just pretty much clarifying the reading because you also had new relationship that came out. So for some of you, you're in a new relationship, you have new love, and this person is wanting a new beginning in love with you. You also have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I told you this person is getting ready to reach out. They want to express their love. This person was cold and detached in the past. They weren't very expressive, but now they're ready to open up to tell you how they really feel. You have true love. 
This is the romance of a lifetime. I told you, you're this person's true love. Your first card was soulmate. This person was never able to find the qualities that you exhibit in anybody else because no one compares. You also have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I can't make it up. The next card is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This person is on their way back. And I'm hearing they're not going to be taking no for an answer. The next card is past life relationship. You have known each other before. That's why the chemistry is off the charts. And that's why your person is feeling the way they're feeling. Because this was a past life connection. And the last card is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This person wants to take this to the next level. For some of you, you could have been engaged to this person and you called it off. This person is coming in to propose again. I can't even make this up. At the bottom of the deck, you have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So for some of you, you were married to this person. Some of you could be filing for divorce or you divorced this person. But they want to renew their vows. And another thing that I'm getting is that they could have been married to that third party, which is why they couldn't give you the commitment. Because the next card says, release your ex. They had to release this third party in order to give you this commitment, in order to give you this engagement. And for some of you, they were hiding this from you because you also have deception. And now that they have released their ex, they're wanting to give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. And that's what they're coming in to tell you collective, that they have let this third party go. And they're wanting you to give this relationship another chance. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. So let's take this to the extended reading and go deeper on this connection. I want to see, are they ready for a true commitment or are they still going to be playing games? I'm also going to see if you guys reconcile with this person, what will it look like? Will it be worth it? And will it work out? They also want to talk to you really bad collective. So I'm going to pull some messages from your person to see what they're wanting to tell you. What advice does spirit have for you and this person? So if you guys would like to purchase the extended readings, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you guys are free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.